Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. In today's video, we are going to talk about how can we generate images with the help of ChatGPT. But before starting, did you watch my previous video in which I talked about 10 stream functions in Java such as filter, map and reduce etc. If you are new here, I am Hassan and I post tutorials on this channel. If you might be interested in watching those videos, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, comment down in this video. Let's start today's video without any further delay. In the free version of ChatGPT, which is 3.5 Turbo right now, and we can see that we cannot generate images in ChatGPT right here. But if we have the plus subscription, which is premium subscription of the ChatGPT, which uses GPT-4, we can generate images using we can generate images using GPT-4. But what if we want to use the free version? Now here I'm going to tell you a website from which I we can generate AI images. Let's see. The website name is imagine.r. So you have to type imagine.art and you will find something like this. What you have to do is to sign in or you can just sign up. So I'm going to first sign in because I've already created an account. You can sign in with Google, with Facebook and Discord or you can go for your email. Now here I'm going to select sign in with Google and I'm going to select one of the account that I logged in with. And after authentication, you will see something like this. You can see many tools right here, image remix, in painting tool, which is right now showing coming soon and expand image, background replace, etc. Now let's try a text to image because we are going to generate AI images. So you have to click on generate art and you will find something like this. Here you will see the settings of the AI image generation and there are some tools which are available for now, like image remix and canvas for drawing. So we are going to work with text to image and here you can see that you can select the number of images to generate aspect ratio for example 916 or 69 but this is available in the premium version you can see that this is for the premium symbol so we are just going to use one ratio one and models you can see the models the latest model is v5 beta but it is for the premium version and it has also the symbol like this for premium so we are going to use image and v4 but it is very much better and you will see the result in a few moments so i'm going to select v4 and here are some styles available and you can also select them to generate very various types of images like fantasy 3d game and illustration or vector art and and it has many styles like this and for the high resolution you have to buy a premium subscription and for the negative prom it is available and if you see the description what is negative prom it says that negative prom tells the ai model that you don't want to see in the generated images so the things that you want to exclude you can just write them here for example distorted picture, blurred picture, etc. And CFG scale, I suggest you to leave this as it is. Step scale and it is unavailable in the free version. So you can just leave it. Now here I'm going to use ChatGPT to generate the prompts. And ChatGPT is very helpful in generating those realistic and amazing prompts to generate amazing AI images. Let's see. So what you have to type here, imagine yourself as an AI image from generator and I will give you a word and you have to generate prompts by imagining yourself and I want to generate five images so I'm going to tell ChatGPT that each word that I will give you have to generate five prompts for that so here you have to type you have to generate five prompts every time I give you the prompt and we can also add some keywords ChatGPT can also generate keywords so I'm going to ask ChatGPT to generate keywords and add in them into the prompt itself. So you have to type here use keywords and the prompt should be detailed. Now I'm going to press enter and let's see what are the results and what type of images these prompt generates. So here it is asking for us I'd be happy to generate image prompts for you. Please provide me with the first word. So I'm going to give a word car. Let's see. I'm going to the first one stop start i'm going to copy the first one and paste it right here i'm going to use the default settings i didn't change anything the model is v4 and i'm not going to use any art styles i'm not going to use any negative prompt we can add them here if there are some problems in the image generation but i'm ignoring it right now so i'm going to click generate 
and let's wait for it you can also use C but it is for advanced user which know about prompt engineering so I suggest you to leave this also uh, now you can see that it generated an amazing image of car and you can also upscale is this image upscaling means that it will make it in higher resolution and make it sharp let's use another prompt i'm going to copy it and paste it right here and click on generate let's wait for it and you can also see that there are tokens which will be reduced each time you will generate an image and by default there will be 50 tokens for each time you open or about 12 hours you can see that the image is very much realistic it is looking amazing and you can we can also upscale it let's see what it shows in upscaled version here is the upscaled version you can see that and you can also download it but it will be uh, with a watermark of image and website because it is a free subscription now let's try to create another one and we will use another word to generate another prompt let's see and here is the result for this you can also see that it is very much looking amazing and you can also see your images that are generated right here so they are saved right here now let's try giving another word to chat gpt i'm going to give it a word airplane and let's see what it gives us i'm going to use the first one i've copied it and going to paste it right here and click on generate to generate it. let's wait for the result to be generated and here is the result of the second word airplane and it is also looking amazing but you can see that there is some distortion right here and you can fix it by just going to the negative prompt or you can exclude these type of things from right there but we are going to just use another prompt to generate another image and see what it will give us i'm going to click on generate and let's wait for it and here is the result and it looks okay to me because i can't see any errors in this picture and it is looking amazing now if you don't want to generate prompts with the chat gpt if you don't want to use this prompt so i've got another idea too what you have to do is to click on this button you can see that just click on this and it will generate prompt by itself imagine has its feature that it will create some type of prompts by itself so i'm going to just copy it and going to give it to chat ask it generate prompts generate 10 prompts like the below and it will generate prompts similar to this prompt we can also give it some specific instruction for example generate 10 prompts like the below but for car so it will use these type of keywords and generator prompts for generating an ai image for car now let's use this one i'm going to paste it and generate it and let's wait for the result so you can see that this is a 56 year old political strategies and and it generated some realistic snapshot of this image we can use another prompt for example this one or we can go for another thing let's go for it and give it to chat gpt now i am going to do something different for example generate 10 prompts like the below one but for car now let's see it will use these keywords and generate the prompts for generating the image for car i'm going to copy this one and see the result let's see you can see the result it's looking very amazing and it is unbelievable it is a futuristic car and it generated a beautiful image you can see the reflection it is also very much perfect the reflection of tires and the reflection of these lights and buildings are very much futuristic you can also upscale it to get the better result now let's do one thing more right here you can see the art styles i'm going to use let's use a free style which can be found right here let's you go for a vibrant what effect it will give to the picture and here is the result with the style vibrant and the model image in v4 and it is actually better than the previous one and it is very much detailed than the previous one you can see that the details of this picture right here and it's looking very amazing and beautiful so these are the some tricks that i use for image generation with the help of chat gpt and with the help of this button which which is given by imagine to you to generate prompts and every time i use this trick i got the better result every time and it was amazing using this imagine.art website so this was all for today's video if you have got any questions or any type of problem let me know in the comments and i will help you further if you like this video click the subscribe button and don't forget to click the bell icon so you will be notified when i publish the next video thank you guys for watching